What's going on guys? What's good y'all? Your boy K-Star here back with another action figure unboxing review. Today we're going to be doing something totally, totally random that I'll never do on this channel. But we're going to be doing the Good Smile Company Nendoroid Trainer Green or as I like to call him because I'm from the West, I like to call him Trainer Blue. So this guy is from obviously the OG Pokemon games red blue and green or fire red and leaf green as you may be more accustomed to so if you're from japan the trainer was called green for some reason don't know why but he's basically barry or gary i can't remember i think it was gary from the original pokemon series but the game characters were always cooler in my opinion so we knew him as trainer blue from pokemon blue version obviously so yeah with the recent pokemon announcement uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes, remasters. I thought I best get this guy out. I've never took him out the box. It's just something I never. I don't really like letting androids or I don't do Figma very much. But I thought, seeing as the recent Pokemon announcements, I feel like a kid again. So we may as well whack him out. So let's get straight into it. As always, we have the front of the box again with Japan figures. Always looking dead nice, dead clear, nice window display, etc. You can see the trainer in there, a few Pokemon, the number, some bits and bobs, side of the box, some awesome art, a trainer green slash blue. I'm going to call him blue for this video. So, trainer blue there, looking pretty cool. Can't argue with him, looks pretty dope. And Venusaur and War Turtle there. I kind of wish it was either the first evolutions or the last evolutions but we can't have everything back of the box some more art with trainer blue there with his charmeleon and his ivysaur other side same again looking pretty dope bottom no japanese shebang on the bottom just a bit of more art so they're loving the art on this one and the top more art what more could we ask for so there you go I think the uh, terms and conditions are on the back of this figure, so there's all your age restrictions, etc. So, without further ado, we'll get him straight out. So, hopefully, I don't totally mash up this box. So, I've never unboxed an Android before, so I don't know what we're expecting. So, this is a journey for me too. So, I'll just place the box over here. And there you're looking at the instruction manual falls right out. With a bit of instructions, always good when you uh, when you don't know what you're doing, like moi. So we'll put those there. And there's this guy looking pretty cool. Hopefully we don't need any sellotape. So we can crack open his cotton shell. Get him straight out, if possible. Not clumsy fingers. So I'm liking the packaging, to be fair, it's very padded. And to be honest, I'm not really a fan of Nendroid, but look at this guy, just look at this. He's looking really cool. And I really don't want to take this plastic stuff off. So just bear with me one second, guys. So there we have, guys. That's Trainer Blue slash Trainer Green, or Gary, out the box. And I have to say, he's looking pretty awesome. As I said, I'm not really a fan of Nendroids. I don't really, I don't collect the line at all. I don't know what they do. I can't lie, he's looking cool, man. So, as always, we do a little brief rundown. I'll try and get him in there so you can see him clearly. My camera's very fuzzy today, so you'll have to bear with me. So, it's a nice look at him. So, we'll start off at the hair. His iconic spiky brown hair. Bit of a ugly seam there, but I think that's where you disconnect the hair and the headpiece to get the, the faces off. So, you've got his brown hair, spiky hair. From the show and the games his grey metallic silver eyes as always his smug look I personally like the the stern faces but this guy was always smug in the game because he was always one step ahead of you that's why I used to like him I wish we could play this guy but we got to play as trainer red instead so there's him looking pretty awesome so yeah the silver eyes and the smirk very good paint job you get his necklace because he's a rich boy. His stylish necklace and his stylish black shirt. 
you get his purple wristbands and his skin tone down with his belt all the way around and that's his, I think that's his poker decks or poker ball case for when his grandpa sends you both on a journey and obviously his legs are nice purple combat trousers and his little tiny shoes so these guys they don't articulate that much I don't think they're just like novelty figures they've got that kind of sepia chibi look that you get in the OG Pokemon games on your, your Game Boy Advance SP or your Game Boy Color and I think that's why they appeal to some people they like the chibi style so yeah I'll try and get some articulation in so his head's on a ball joint a very thin one you can see the joint is very thin it's quite a big ball but the actual joint parts thin so he gets about that far up and about basic down left and right lovely you can swivel it all the way around if you want to you know me i never do that his arm you can't get up there because you'll snap it so you can't do a 90 but you can if you push it backwards do like a, a twizzle so it's on like a really thin swivel peg i don't know if you can see that you just swivel it around and around and it looks like it can come off as well same for this arm his waist you can swivel it all the way around if you if you feel the need i guess but i'm not going to feels like it can only go that way his legs you get back forward and that's it and i don't think there's any feet joints which is a shame but these are thin novelty figures as i said so yeah lovely and quick for my least favorite part the articulation because i don't like bending my figures all over the place as you know so to be fair seeing as i said i don't like nendroids that much Nendroids might be the one for me. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to get him to stand up. So, we'll get on to a few accessorios. You get quite a bit with our boy. So, you get a Charmeleon. Which is pretty dope. So this is like four figures in one. And he's got articulation as well, so that's quite crazy to be fair. I mean, these guys are really expensive, but to get an actual Pokemon figure that articulates and looks this good, that's pretty cool. I can't lie. So that's a Brucey right there. So you get his Charmeleon. You get Trainer Blues. Ivasaur, who's looking pretty cool. Again, a bit of articulation. You can move the legs, and I think you can swivel the head a little bit. If you feel, but look at that paint job, that looks awesome. I can't lie, that's really cool. So there's our little boy Ivysaur. If you're a Pokemon fan, then you'll definitely like this and feel the nostalgia. And finally, for Trainer Blue, even though I know it's Trainer Green, but as I said, if you're from England or America, you know him as Trainer Blue. His iconic war turtle that goes on to evolve into Blastoise. And I think everyone picks charmander i personally like bulbasaur when i play the games but if you're playing by red's logic in the law then you pick charmander and this cheeky guy here always picks the one that you're weak to and obviously fires weak to water so blue accurately named would pick war turtle or squirtle so he said swivels his arms swivel and his legs swivel which i think is really cool so he comes with the three starters in their second evolution, which that's a really cool accessory to be honest. Very nice. So if you give me two minutes. So sorry about that guys, you'll have to forgive me. Me being an absolute donut, never opening this, never preparing properly. I didn't realise all the craziness you get in these boxes, they're all taped up, etc. So you actually get a, quite a lot of stuff with this guy. So as you can see. You got his, his smug face, you get another quite smirking face, which that's pretty dope. And then you get like a, a shocked face like, oh, you're the trainer, you beat me, how could this be? So you get those two faces as well as his regular face. I assume that's another neck, neck peg if you're clumsy like me and you break stuff and you're heavy handed. So that's pretty nice to see a spare neck peg, that's quite good that they put that in. And you get all these random arms, so he's got like a, a kind of high five fingers up 
peace sign and he's got two hands in pockets because he usually stands with his hands in his pockets which that's really cool i like that he's got another like peace sign forwards or shooting shooting finger hand there in the top right he's got a holding his poker ball hand which is really cool and he's got like a pointing finger so that's pretty cool so i'll just quickly see if i can get some of that stuff on for you see what that looks like so again you'll have to bear with me but sorry about that again guys just a quick uh, technical problem with me being brainless but as you can see there i managed to take his hairpiece off at the front you just pull that off carefully and then you slot the other face in nicely like sh figots and that looks really mean like i have to say that looks really sharp so you've got trainer blue there with his pokeball looking smug oh, and i much prefer this face with the closed mouth and he just looks like he knows even if you beat him he doesn't care because he's rich and that's what i like about blue he's just hilarious he always acts like he's a big tough guy and he's just a rich boy and he knows it and he knows he's just chilling he can do pokemon but that's just a hobby i'm the champion of the league but don't worry if you beat me good for you well done mate but i'm the champion so that's i think that's really cool so yeah as i said nendroids might be something i might have to get into occasionally because honestly this guy's really dope so yeah there's me back on the pokemon craze like a little kid but sometimes we all love a bit of pokemon it's got to be done and we all like that little bit of nostalgia from time to time i just wish i could get this guy to stand it just don't want to happen so what we're gonna have to try and do nope not even that's gonna happen i just i guess that's the big problem for these because they're so small have we got lift off yes we have so if we can try and move the camera down there bit of focus So there you have trainer blue ready for battle with his war turtle looking pretty mean pretty mean indeed and as i said i can't if you want just a nice little figure like a, a novelty figure and you got some money to splash then this might be for you especially if you're a pokemon fan because these little guys are awesome and you can get Jojo's versions, you can get loads. So, yep, when they first released they run you about 45 quid, so they are expensive. When I bought this guy because he was old, this was about 60 bucks. So, very pricey for a little tiny figure, I have to admit, but as always, as I like to say, if you've got the money to spare and you want to treat yourself, go for it. So yeah, that's nice. Pokemon hype. Trainer blue slash green slash Gary. Wherever you come from, whatever you like. And he's three starter Pokemon. Ready to cause you some trouble when you're trying to get through the roots. In Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Leaf Green. Which is really dope. As I said, looking sharp. I haven't got really much to say else about him. One thing I will say is, me being the silly guy that I always am, I didn't realize, but these guys actually come with a display base as well. And you know me with display bases, I never use them. But because this guy struggles to stand, you know what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna use him. So for the last time, bear with me one second, guys. And we're back. And as I've said so many times this review, that looks really cool. Like I've put his, uh, his hands in the pocket thing on as he falls over and there you go there's trainer blue ready to battle and cause you some grief in game so yeah that's really cool so yeah pricey pricey guys but very cute very chibi if you uh, like this kind of stuff if you like the old style pokemon games and you like the chibi kind of feel to your figures then this might very well be for you because 
as I said, this is the only Nendroid I got, and I have to admit, I've cracked him open on this video, and he's really cool. So, yeah, might be another add to the addiction, which is unfortunate. So, yep. Yeah. Thanks very much for watching, guys, as always. Sorry I babbled on a bit too long in this video. I was just hyped up about the new Pokemon Nintendo Switch game releases. So, yep, yeah, done this one for you. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please, please, please hit that like button. Really supports me. Hitting that like button is probably the most important for me if you enjoyed the video. New channel, we really need those likes. So, that would help me a whole bunch if you could just hit that like button if you enjoyed if you didn't fully understandable because this was a right shambles even more so than usual it was just a random video that I whipped up tonight so yeah that's, that's all I got to say really guys leave your feedback down in the comments below hit me up with some things that you want to see on the channel some things some reviews that you want to see I'll see what I can do to get them out yeah as always keep yourself occupied and safe in these crazy times Keep collecting cool things to keep your mind exercised and happy in lockdown. Stay safe. Keep collecting.